Hello, this is Duncan Fowler and this is tutorial 6 for uh, Intermediate. Uh, this is a very similar tutorial to what we've already done. Um, it's relating to operators and the use of them. And it, but it's a very fundamental uh, tutorial about understanding how uh, discrete event simulation works. So we're going to create a, uh, three processes which can be fed round robin. Uh, by an operator, uh, every, the operator is also going to um, set up the machines every 10 and it's going to take 10 seconds and it's going to be 20 seconds um, uh, process. So we've got a, a source, a queue, three processes and a sync and uh, so the, the operator is going to carry things from the operator, take them to uh, the processes and when it gets there it will set up the machine. So uh, let's move over to FlexSim. Okay, we're in FlexSim. Uh, we know it's in seconds, so we'll leave it in seconds there. Uh, let's get this source, the queue, three processors, and a sync. Now let's join them all up using an A key. I know I could have used the uh, the shift key here to uh, put a, sh uh, uh, a rectangle around the uh, the three processors, but uh, I thought it'd be nice to do it this way, or just different, should I say? Let's get the operator in, join him up using an S key. Uh, we need him for transport, but we also need him to set up the uh, three processors. We'll leave the source as it is, the settings, but what we do need to do is uh, go to the floor tab of the queue and change it to transport and apply and OK. Uh, we know that for processor one, the setup time is uh, 10 seconds and we need the operator and the process time is 20. So don't forget to click on the uh, user operator. Go to the next one. So it's 10, use operator and 20. And finally 10, use operator and 20. Okay. At the moment, uh, the floor for the queue is probably set to first available, so to uh, try very hard to go to processor one. Uh, let's we'll share that a little by and a bit. Let's we'll kind of try and make it into um, a round robin if available. So what it will do is it will try and send it to one, and if that that's not available, to send it to another one and try and uh, share it around a little bit. I'll just make sure it's running okay. So um, before I start. Yeah, so you can see lots of yellows appearing here. So we've got some issues and the easiest way to do this is to go through the step feature. So uh, what's happening is a box appeared. So if you imagine this little guy, you've got a job list to do. And the first thing to do is go to the queue, uh, pick up the box and go to a processor, put the processor on and set the, the processor up. When that's only when that's done, can you look at the next thing? So so it's it's processing and another box has appeared so he's been told to go to the queue pick the box up go uh, to uh, another processor and he's walking along and that's fine he sets up and great and he goes always and he starts walking as he turns um, to pick up the next box uh, a second box appeared so in his to-do list, he's got the go and get that first box and take it to a, another processor. And then the next thing to do is go and get the next box and go to the, uh, the another processor. Which really doesn't make sense because um, he's going to pick that up now. Go to a, another third processor. He's going to put it on there. And really what we want him to do is to stay there and set that machine up for doing whatever it needs to do. Um, but in his to-do list, it said, go and get a box, take it there, and then another box has appeared, so you better go back and pick it up. So he's putting it on, and then it, it's blocked because he's, he's, he's going back here to pick the next box up, and this can't be used, so it's blocked. So you can see what's happening is uh, he's going to go take it over there, put it on there, 
and in his to-do list is to come and um, to, to to come and get uh, sort this out. Actually, it might even be go and get another box. Yes, it is. So he's gonna have a full house in a second. There you go. So he, that's because three boxes appeared um, while he was over here earlier on. So he's done what he said, which is transport the boxes. That's his list of things to do. And then the next thing will be to go uh, and set up that machine, set up that machine, and set up that and carry on. This is not really what would happen. So what we need to do is give some sort of priority to things. So the priority should be um, uh, the the processor should take priority over uh, what what the queue is doing. So let's set that key priority to one, and let's do that for all of them. So the request to set up do the setup times will. Uh, make it that it jumps the queue above uh, the uh, the requirement to go and get a, a box again. So if we reset that and uh, do step again, so the box has come, takes it over there, sets up, gets the next box, he walks across there, and one box has appeared, another box has appeared, and he goes and picks up. And he takes that over. Now, what he want, we want him to do is stay there and set up before turning round, which he has done. And then he goes and gets the next box. And you can see the boxes are appearing, but he, he's, the priority is coming from the processor. So, so we're not getting those yellow um, boxes, and we're not getting this um, um, blockages and stuff. Okay, uh, hopefully that was useful. Thanks a lot for listening.